Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to take care of uh, an, another type of linking and let me show you what that is. So now I want to do what I want to do is if the player can link into here, then the nearest point near the surface will be this one. This because as you can see this over here is closer to this than to this over here. So I would want to put it there. And there's two possible ways to do it to do this. The the first one would be like in the last tutorial. So in the last tutorial we made the raycast all go from here to here and find the, the best point. And we could also do the same thing from the other side. So check if a point from here to here will detect the best point. And then we'll cross reference the both and find the one that found the, the point closest to that point. And then we'll use that to put the put the player there. But the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the, the code from the last tutorial. So we found in the last tutorial we found what what point is the best point so we will found this point over here we will find this so there so in here there will be three possible points which will be like here here and here and in this scenario this will be the best point but this point right now isn't the nearest point the point the nearest point is this one so in this scenario what I'll do is check if in small intervals if there's points over here, if there's points over here that are better than that one, and if it finds one, it will go. That will be the best point. So let's start doing that. So this is the code from the last tutorial, and I'm going to put here a public variable, public bool called true walls, uh, called nearest point, which will go to the nearest point available. Which will make us select that. So this is the code from the last tutorial. And what I'm going to do is else if nearest point isn't select, so if this is false, then it will do what we did what it did in the last tutorial. But if it's true, else if it is true, I could just put else, but just for more readability, I'll put it like this. If it is true, then we want to do, to, to do something else. And like I said, what we're going to do first is to execute this, this exact same code over here, into here, to find the best to the best point, which will be this point over here. And now I want to travel in small intervals into the other part of the collider to see if it's actually closer or not. So I'm going to actually also put here a variable which will be a public float uh, step, which will be the intervals of space that we will travel, like so. And now I'm going to make a loop, a while loop, that will check whenever the collider has ended. So while something happened, this will loop. So in this loop, what we want to do is to grab the best point that we got but we want to save it so we don't want to change it so I'm going to create here a vector free vector free uh, aux which will aux which will be an auxiliary variable equal to that and we want to check while well, the physics to the of that aux point so physics to the overlap point aux and we, like I said, you can also put here a layer, but it's not needed. It's not really needed. Okay, so what this is doing is while this aux point is inside the collider, so while it's over here, it keeps on the loop. But as soon as it goes off the loop, out of the loop, then it stops the loop and it finds the other point. So now, but we have to change aux to, because right now the aux is is always the same value, and we want to change it. And what we want to do to change it is in the loop, make aux equal to whatever it was plus the step times the vector two dot right times the transform dot local scale dot x. And let me try and explain to you what this is doing. So first off, 
we have the aux this is the aux and when I tell it to be equal to the vec to vector two dot right times the transform dot focal scale, just like we used in the last tutorials, this is just the direction of the player. So if the player is there is in this, so if the player is facing that direction, this will be the direction. And what we're doing is in is this is the so this is the first point. So what we're doing is adding to the first aux point. So the first aux point was like here. And we're adding to the first aux point the direction, which is a, 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 a vector with one of magnitude, so times the step. So if the step is 0.2, it will travel like 0.2 in that direction, and then more 0.2, and then more 0.2 until it reaches out of the collider. And when it does, it stops the loop and it finds the, the end point. So that's that. We, when we are out of the loop, we found the we have found the endpoint. Now we have to check if that point is actually closer than this point. So if the vector two dot distance from the aux two to that point to the point that we want to teleport, so to this point, which is Transform dot local scale times the vector two dot right times the distance, and we have also we have used this in in other tutorials. And as as like I said, this is a, this is the direction, and this is the distance, so it will give it can travel a certain distance in a certain direction. So this distance, check if this distance between the that point and that point is smaller than the distance between. the best point and the point that we want to travel. So I'll just copy this and replace aux with best point. Like so. And if it is if it is smaller it means that the the, the point that we found is closer than the previous point that we had found. So we want to make the uh, best point be equal to the aux, and then we want to teleport to that point. So we we'll just make transform that position be equal to best point, like so. Save, and it looks like we have an error. Oh, uh, just put here vector three because that always seems to solve it. Okay, and now that's done. Now let's see if it's working fine. So, if I have the, if I want to travel into here, the, and let me make sure that that point is activated. So, I have to activate this. So, okay. Uh, don't mind these warnings. This is just related to this gizmos thing uh, that will be deleted in a moment. So, don't worry. Right now, I want to travel into here. So, the nearest point is over here. So, if I press the key to blink it should go over there and there you go it just went over there that's the best point but let me go back where I was but if I but if the point is over here then the nearest point is over here so that's where it will go and as you can see that isn't working well so let's see what's going on okay so I, I found a problem uh, this has to be sum to the transform that position plus that okay because we want that want to be to check the player plus that vector so that's the point and not that that just will be a point from the origin to the, a certain direction and we want it to be from the player to a certain direction so that's what it has to be, and we have to change it here as well. So save it. Oops. Okay, now we have errors related with vector threes and vector twos. So just change this vector two dot right to vector three dot right, and that will solve it. Okay. And now you'll see that it's working fine. So if I go over here. <coughs> Then I want to be here, so 
I will be there but if I go over here then I want to be here and I will be there as well and that's it for today guys uh, in the last tutorial we will do the exact same thing but in but in 2D world so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial